Hi, this is Pachi, and today I have an amazing video. How to cook with spices and herbs and seasonings without getting your hands dirty all the time. We're gonna do this once a month, and we're gonna buy onions, scallions, shallots, cilantro, shishito peppers, or any kind of pepper you like. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to buy the freshest ingredients we find. We are gonna cut them either in a processor or in a power blender or by hand and put them in ice cube trays. That's it. The good thing about doing it in the tray is that you can measure ahead of time and then afterwards forever you know how much ingredient is in a cube. We're gonna do this with all of the ingredients. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop our cilantro. Then we're gonna chop our green onions and we're gonna do all parts, the green part and the white part. We have something called culantro that we also call like razor leaf cilantro or large leaf cilantro, which is delicious. It's a lot like cilantro, but it's stronger in flavor. We're gonna process that too. Then we're gonna put them all in our ice cube trays. Same thing with shallots. We don't get shallots a lot, but when I get shallots, I buy enough that I can freeze and I can use to flavor amazing dishes. In seconds, without even thinking about peeling or cutting or slicing. Also, without ever wasting anything. Same thing with our peppers. We get sweet small peppers like shishito peppers. Every once in a while, one of them is spicy. But that's interesting. You kind of never know what's coming up when you use them. Those I sliced by hand, but you can chop them any way you want. Remember the secret is only placing them in trays with no water and no oil. Then you can even do what I do. And I create my Colombian cooking. I mix the protein with all its seasonings in Ziploc bags have it ready. That way, the day that we're gonna make, like arroz con pollo, which is chicken and rice, or seafood chowder, I have everything already frozen, and I don't have to go out running for any ingredient that I forgot. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious diets, sustainable diets. It is super important to have delicious food, so you repeat everything you like to eat. Enjoy it, Chef Pachi. Delicious food, amazing food. Scroll down for the recipe, you can print it. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.
Today I have an amazing video on why I slice my food before I freeze it. And even if I'm going to create a menu that I want to be ready in minutes. I'm using flap, but you can use skirt or any other tasty and delicious meat. Is I slice it either in strips or half so that it's about an inch or less thick. I seasoned with garlic and oregano and place it under the broiler for 45 seconds. But my chicken breasts that are boneless, I slice in half. That way they cook more moist and delicious and they're ready in two to three minutes. I've seasoned one with garlic, basil, and yogurt and the other with Dijon mustard and yogurt. Slice your meats and season them before you freeze them. That way, as soon as you come home, you'll have a meal that's amazing in less than 10 minutes. My salmon, for example, already comes portioned, so I don't have to slice it. I place it in a pan, add some basil that I have frozen, and some ginger, orange juice, and that's it. Voila! Beautiful! Cooking can be easy and delicious in minutes with Chef Pachi. Subscribe and get notified every time I have a delicious idea for you. With Chef Pachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Chef Pachi. Hi! Do you think it's hard to make some Mediterranean chicken that looks and tastes like something you got rolled out of a grill? Super simple! Let me show you how to do it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make an aromatic mixture that has some garlic, oregano, setar, salt and pepper. And we process all this, add it to some yogurt, then place all the yogurt under the skin of the breast and the thighs and legs. I baked it on top of some carrots so I have some vegetable sun. I don't have to look at it. I don't have to turn it. All that seasoning protects my breast and they're going to be super moist. Remember, with Pachi, delicious food, sustainable mood. Chef Pachi. Check out the full recipe on YouTube. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I'm going to teach you how to season your proteins in a whim. You're going to flow through your kitchen like nothing. You're going to use our seasonings that we have frozen or the ones we have in our fridge. What we're going to do is we're going to place all our proteins in containers, then bring out our seasonings and we add one to each other. Here, for example, we added to our meat some garlic and basil. To our chicken, we added some yogurt, like always, then mustard and some roasted tomatoes. Then to our edamames, we added some spice. And last but not least, to our salmon, we added ginger, garlic, and orange juice. That's it! In seconds, you can season your protein, freeze them, and have delicious meals. You can refrigerate them if you're going to eat them within three days. Enjoy delicious! Delicious food. Be fit, happy, and have all the time in the world to enjoy. Chef Pachi.
Remember, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I'm going to show you how you can portion your protein and freeze it portion. That way, when you take out each meal, you decide how many people can eat, and you'll have no waste. First thing we're going to do is we're going to buy our protein as small as we can. If we're going to buy a chicken breast, we can buy the breasts without a bone. You can also buy them with a bone, but with a bone, they're a little bit bigger to store. And then we season them and we put them in containers that are easy to store. And the ones that are closer to the size of the food you're going to prepare or store, for example, if you're four or five, you're going to have a larger container than if you're one or two. Then you buy those containers and try to organize them really neatly in your freezer. Also, you can leave in your refrigerator the foods that you're going to have for the next three days. So you don't have to freeze everything. Some of your portion food can be kept in the refrigerator for you to use today, tomorrow, or the next day. So come, learn how to season in my other video and portion kebabs and chicken fingers and chicken breast, chicken tenders, and see how I portion and divide all my foods, beef, pork, shrimp, salmon, and many other foods. When you portion your food and you make them flat, it is so much easier to defrost them. They take almost no time to defrost if you forget. Let's say you come home and you've got your burgers completely frozen. Well, those you can put on your grill and you can cook them frozen. But in case you don't want to, you can put them in a zipper bag underwater and in 10 minutes they'll be completely defrosted. You don't have to use a microwave that sometimes cooks the food as it defrosts it. So if you have a lot of people at home, try to freeze all your food in containers that are bigger and not taller, that are wider, so you can defrost them fast and easy and everybody can have a meal even when you least expect it. I hope you enjoy delicious food all the time. Once you portion it seasoned and freeze it, you're always going to have delicious food at hand, at home, for everyone. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Chef Pachi! We're okay. doing dandelion greens. Perfect. Let me see them. Oh, yeah. They're all dry. Dandelion. Amazing and beautiful yeah, this is green. a little bit wet. So. Nice, bitter dandelion greens. So yes. now, what do I do? Oh, nice. Flour to see. Did you guys yeah. really wash them well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like inside out, no dirt? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. If I stick my hand in there, I won't collect dirt. Right. Nice job, ladies. Eat. I'm not gonna eat. No, no, not gonna eat. You're not gonna eat. No, we're gonna take no, this. We're gonna pack it. Mama no comido snack. That's why we're taking this. Yeah. 
Alrighty, and we are done, Joe. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi and today I have some amazing hacks. One, how to make water tasty. All you have to do is mash or blend two cubes of your favorite fruit. And you can change the fruit every day if you want. You can use frozen fruit and you can use fresh fruit. Just mash or blend your fruit in some of the water. Then add some extra water to complete the amount you want to drink. It might be a quart, it might be two. You can add an herb to make it beautiful and attractive. You can just drink it like that, with ice, without ice, and enjoy delicious water, tasty every day. Keep your skin moisturized and hydrated. With Chef Pachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Chef Pachi. Hi, welcome to Chef Pachi, and today I have an amazing short video to show you all the gadgets that I use that make my cooking a breeze. I use 
a mandolin almost every day, my tongues every single day, my panini grill almost every day too. I use my tongues that have rubber in the bottom to scrape my pants. And last but not least, I add some steam to my pan so that I can detach all those delicious flavors from the bottom. Forks, by the way, are my best friends. They are the easiest to use, to mix, and even to mix within pans. Check this out. I use them every single day. With Chef Pachi's hacks, you'll be in and out of the kitchen and eat deliciously. Process herbs, spices, and delicious foods to keep them frozen so we don't have to get our hands dirty every single day, only once a month. With Chef Pachi, delicious diets, sustainable diets. Enjoy everything you love to eat and flow in your kitchen.
Hi, this is Chef Pachi and today I want to tell you about how I reheat and reuse food so that it tastes amazingly delicious like the first day. So we're going to take two pieces of chicken breast and we're going to reheat them in the panini grill for a minute. And of course, you might not want to do both at the same time if you're doing one today and one tomorrow. So here we have both. And the first one we're going to add to a salad. So I have my cut greens. I bring them out and cut my breast. And I'm serving this beautiful salad of things that I had in my fridge mixed in a blue, very nice vase or container. And then in nice serving dishes. They can be white, they can be anything. Just have a couple of nice dishes so that your food looks better and it's gonna make you feel great, especially when it didn't take you more than a minute or two to get everything together. So we put all our greens in our plate and then on top we place our chicken. On this side we have some brown rice that we warmed and you're gonna see in another video of reusing and reheating and reusing rice and we put it on the side. Now you don't have to use the rice, but I have it just in case you want it so you see how it looks without the rice and with the rice. You see, it's a whole meal that looks amazing in less than five minutes. We reheated and reused the rice and the chicken. Now for the second one, we're gonna use some onion and cherry tomatoes. So our onion, I cut it very thinly in the mandolin, put it in the pan, with a tiny bit of oil and then I added some water which is what's actually boiling right there and some cherry tomatoes that way it would pick up all the delicious flavors from the bottom so I got out a piece of French bread from my freezer put it on the panini grill for a minute so that it warmed up enough so that I could cut it then opened it in half and reheated it for 30 seconds I added this delicious onions and the other chicken breast. Just place the chicken breast on top of my bread and serve the salad on the side. Check it out. Two amazing meals. Delicious with reheat and reuse hack. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I have an amazing video on what I call 50-50. And what's 50-50? It means half things you've already prepared and half things you've brought from somewhere else. For example, if you don't like to prepare your legumes or you find an amazing place that makes the best steak ever, well, you take your steak home and eat it with the vegetables that you cook. Same thing with beans. Buy your beans or buy your rice and make the vegetables, the salad, and the rest of your meal. That way, you can have a lot of fresh foods and vegetables and also buy some out. So, little by little, you learn how to flow through the kitchen without having to do everything at once. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our mandolin and we're going to slice all our vegetables the same thickness. This is why I turn a little bit in and out the mandolins with so that I can get them really thin if I want them to be done very fast. Now what I did is that I passed my red onion and red bell peppers through my mandolin. And I also had some delicious heirloom tomatoes which I just cut in eighths. Once I had everything cut I put it in two different baking pans. To one baking pan, I added some fresh oregano leaves with stems and everything, a little bit of pepper, a touch of salt, and some olive oil. You'll get the recipe at the end of this video. On my second pan, I put the bell peppers and the red onions first. Then I added a half a head of garlic. And one of those yellow tomatoes was left over from my other pan, which was already in the oven, so I put it here. You can add any other vegetable you like. Here, we added some rosemary leaves. I didn't add the stems, but you can add the stems. Now, there are two ways to cook them, and you'll have amazing vegetables for three days already cooked that you can just blend in any of your meals. You either bake them at 300 degrees for an hour in case you don't want to be on top of your oven and nothing is going to happen if they go longer or you do it at 375 for 20 minutes. This is it. 
Also, if you wanted to cook them higher, what you can do is once they're cooked for five minutes, then you add a quarter cup of water, hot water, close your oven again, and let it create some steam. Five minutes later, it's gonna be hot. Then you have these two different amazing vegetable mixes. And you can do this with any of the vegetables you have. You can do it with broccoli, cauliflower, garlic, onions, bell peppers, any of the vegetables that you really like and want to put on a mixed vegetable salad. Remember, delicious food, sustainable food. And if we have delicious diets, we'll always keep eating healthy and delicious and be fit with Chef Pachi.